Korea needs new social contract. In my last essay for the Korea Herald, I introduced the idea of the paradox on the Han River. To understand the South Korea today, one must squarely face two contradictory realities. One is of incredible success, a ragged to riches story with global brands, an addictive K culture, and a rising power in the Olympics. Political progress followed this success. Korea is a rare nation in the modern era with a conviction around the constitutional democracy. At the same time, Korea's usage characterized by a widespread lack of hope with one of the world's highest suicide rate and the world's lowest fertility rate at 0.373 births per woman. Simply put, Korea as a society literally disappearing. Both the suicide and the birth rate are linked to society's future hopes and aspirations. Neither the national development nor democratic participation that once served as unifying moral purposes in the 1960s to 1990s are sufficient today. Too many people are left behind under the current system with fierce competition beginning as soon as babies are born. This is a prelude to a society with a fierce division among regions, age, income, and education pedigree, to mention a few. A new Korean social contract is needed, one that guarantees not only growth and democracy, but also mutuality. Uh, Steve Garber, an astute of job of society, noted that culture is upstream from politics. So while there is a critical role of the state, I want to turn to the role of obediences in creating mutuality and common good. This bottom-up approach has been quietly growing in Korea and elsewhere. For many years, Milton Friedman's single metric profit maximization became the standard economic model in maintaining company discipline and aligning incentives for CEO pay. But the excess of this model in the past decades, such as the collapse of Enron and the financial crisis of 2000, led many to question the logically elegant but troubling bridges behind the Fredman model. As a response, a variety of alternatives emerged in recent years that go beyond philanthropy or corporate social responsibility. Significantly, Michael Porter of Harvard developed the concept of shared value, which aligns business and social impact, such as training in a city use with IT skills, which Cisco may have a shortage of. Thus, there is no contradiction between shareholder value and social engagement. 